Welcome here everyone, with the new iOS, Apple changed AirDrop from everyone forever to everyone for just 10 minutes. But with a computer, even though everyone for 10 minutes is selected, I've had this on since yesterday and it has not turned off. So let's move to the computer uh, and let's get this started. On your computer, you're going to head over to this GitHub website, just type it. I'll have it in the description, but if I forget, it's right here. You're going to see the releases section and just click on the latest. And once we are here, we're going to select the now on adoptions. So right now, this is macOS only. So I'm going to click on my macOS version and download. If you have Windows, you'll have to come back at a later date. So once the uh, Kalbunga has downloaded, let's open it up. Uh, we're just going to drag and drop the Kalbunga into the applications. If you're watching in the future and you're using Windows, there'll probably be a setup screen and you'll just need to follow the on-screen instructions. So now to open up the Kalbunga, you need to right click it and then click on open. It will show an error. Just click on cancel, right click again, open again, open, and now we are in the Kalbunga. The next step is to connect our iPhone to our computer. You may need an adapter if you can't use your charging cable. So I've connected it now. And on the iPhone itself, it should show a trust message. So unlock the iPhone, tap the trust message. And once you've trusted everything, click on the refresh icon. Okay, click on the refresh. Now the iPhone shows up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the springboard options and we're going to see enable for this and you're going to see set airdrop to everyone just tick this one and we're not done just yet but once this is applied the airdrop for everyone will not turn off after 10 minutes under setup options turn on skip setup Th what this does is once we apply the changes it's going to bring us back to the setup screen we won't lose our data so you're not going to lose any data but uh, instead of going through each setup menu it will just take you to the home screen there are other stuff here if this looks interesting to you but let's just click on apply and then apply tweaks and it should work now in my case it hasn't worked and you can see this stuff here, but here we go. If we just scroll to the bottom, find my iPhone must be disabled before restoring. So you need to turn off find my iPhone. So I'm going to turn this one off now. And then once find my iPhone is off, we're just going to click on the apply button again. And this time it should work. If you don't know how to turn off Find My iPhone, you will need to just search up on YouTube how to turn off. And if you put my channel name after your query, you will find a tutorial made by me. So you don't need this software anymore. Uh, this software does work on any software uh, of your iPhone. And um, let's go back to the device itself. Back on the iPhone itself, we're on the hello screen. And again, we haven't lost any data. Um, it's going to do a reactivation, but this should pass. And after this, we should be brought back to the home screen. So the only thing that's changed is the airdrop is now set to everyone. And even though it shows everyone for 10 minutes, it will stay forever. So we got everyone here. So is everyone for 10 minutes, but this will not turn off. I'll put in the comment section, if you turn off airdrop and then set it back to everyone for 10 minutes. I'll let you know if it will just last for 10 minutes or if it will last forever, like it used to with the older iOS. But right now it's set to everyone and this will not turn off after 10 minutes. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.